good evening. Yeah, could you tell us who was the person who passed and uh, what happened? Her name is Miranda Gino, and um, my relationship with her is my first cousin. It's your uh, first daughter? My first cousin. Oh. Uh, cousin. Yeah. And um, this, is, this is like a traditional celebration. Um, this is what we do normally at home. She's originally from Cameroon, from a tribe. It's a tribe called Meta. It's on which province? It's the Northwest province. And um, this, this is the way that the, you know, the Cameroonian population and other world wishes and, um, you know, the Af African population is here in general to um, condole with the family. And these are usually like songs sang in Meta, but they are mostly like with a religious, you know, notation in it to, um, you know, just give some sympathetic words to the family, condolence to the family and to encourage them. How long has she been here? She's been here about about eight years. Yeah, what happened? We're not really sure. We're still waiting on um, pathology results for the autopsy. Um, so far, we're assuming that this was she, she passed from natural causes. So she but wasn't. We're not, uh, no, she wasn't. She, she was. Yes, yes. Well, she she collapsed at home, and uh, you know, and her mother was there, and um, my cousin's son was there, and he was the one who called 911. Her mother beckoned her to call 911, and she did. And um, instantly, it was, you know, the, the ambulance responded instantly, fire, the fire trucks and everything, they were there. Um, and they immediately transported her to Laurel General Hospital, where she, she passed. she was declared dead after how many days, how many hours? About an hour. When we, we, we know that she was on life support for about an hour. So she wasn't feeling any food? No, nothing no complaints. Actually, on the day, the same day she passed, she had gone, you know, on errands and shopping with her mother and you know came back home and was playing with her little niece um, and said good night to everybody and was just you know going through the, like a last evening chat with her mother and then all of a sudden she didn't feel well she have sister brother she has she has um she has three other sisters uh, could you tell us her scholarity maybe somebody that going to watch it on tv uh, can recognize which school she went through I'm not quite sure the school she went to, but she did nursing, and she thrived very well. Yeah, she was a very good nurse. Yeah, could you tell us the family name? She, her her um, family name is Gino, it's spelled J-I-N-O-R, um, and her first name is Miranda. So her family's parents are Gino? Yes, they're Gino. Okay. And her mom is here, and three sisters. Uh, she was here only with her mom. No, she's here with her mom and three sisters. Okay. And two of them are here in Maryland, and one just came from Chicago. One lives in Chicago. How old she was? She was... Yeah, she was born in 
nous sommes là maintenant, à... c'est toujours dans le Maryland, c'est devenu comme une habitude dans la communauté camerounaise. Euh, on dirait que euh, chaque week-end maintenant, les Camerounais ici aux états unis particulièrement dans l'état du Maryland, et même pas seulement dans le Maryland, parce que actuellement où nous sommes dans le Maryland, il y a plein de VE au Texas, au Houston, dans beaucoup d'états, les états unis où les Camerounais sont déclarés euh, morts. Euh, le 14 janvier, il y a un qui était passé, mais on n'a pas eu l'occasion de couvrir l'événement pour vous. Aujourd'hui, là, nous sommes venus à un autre deuil qui laisse tout le monde mieux ici. Comme vous avez entendu, euh, la cousine de la famille s'exprimer. Euh, la jeune fille n'était pas malade. Elle est sortie, elle a fait les courses avec sa maman, euh, avec, elle, avec laquelle elle habitait. Elle a fait les études de, de médecine. Et elle est rentrée à la maison et, elle et sentie. on dit à peine arrivée à l'hôpital, elle a été déclarée morte. Donc, euh, la, la concernée tout à l'heure disait qu'ils ne sont pas exactement sûrs de quoi elle est décédée parce qu'elle n'a pas présenté de signes de maladie avant. Elle n'a pas été malade. Euh, le jour même de sa mort, elle était bien portante, elle a fait les courses. Donc, ils disent qu'ils attendent l'autopsie pour déterminer exactement de quoi la, la jeune sœur est décédée. Euh, nous sommes là pour couvrir encore cet événement pour vous. Et comme d'habitude, nous serons toujours là. Ça ne meurt pas seulement en Afrique, euh, ça commence à devenir une habitude même aux États-Unis ici. Il ne se passe plus un week-end sans qu'on ne voie euh, un corps euh, d'un Africain couché. Et c'est la triste réalité, mais on ne peut rien, comme je dis toujours. L'homme ne peut que se soumettre à la volonté de From verse 51 through verse 54. How can the first reading come from First Corinthians uh, chapter 15, verse 51 to 54? Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not sleep. But we will all be changed in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised. And we will be changed, for the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality. When we perishable and change with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. That's the word of the Lord. For behold, death has been swallowed up in victory. Our dear sister here, our lovely sister, as I said before, she has just given up that which she cannot keep to gain that which she can no longer lose. I'm refreshing the words of Jim Elliot. Since the passing away of our sister, we heard our woman say that she lost her life because she, she died. Everything is done. But I'm able to say to tell you that there is a gain even in loss. Amen? There is a gain even in loss. And I'm going to use the word of God to show you that there is a gain even in loss. And I'm going to put the illustration of three people in the Bible. Three people in the Bible. To show to you that there is, even, there is a gain even in loss. The first, you all know the popular scripture of in Luke chapter 16, that of the rich man and Lazarus. Look at what happened in that 
scripture. You're not going to read through the whole scripture, but I will tell you what, what he noticed. When he died, when the rich man died, he realized that there was a gain even in death. You ask me, how do you know that? Well, if you look down to uh, about um, verse 29, he asked Lazarus that please, can you go to my father's house? Because I have five other brothers. I'm telling them. I'm what uh, Lazarus and Abraham uh, tell him. They said, if somebody comes from here and go back to them, they will still not believe. Therefore, let them listen to the prophets. Tonight, our sister is in the bosom of Abraham and she's giving us the same message. Listen to the prophets. The second person is Paul. And I will call on my reader to read uh, from Acts of the Apostles.